Okay. What are we looking at here? What's the? Oh yeah, here. Um, let's see here. Oh, I gotta film this way. Here's the. Uh, I gotta figure out how to film with this shit. Here, here's the. Uh, Welcome to historic the Dallas sign. I oh, see here. I gotta. Okay, for the viewers out there, we're in Dallas, Anyways. Oregon. So yeah, so now we're walking over to the pool from the sign. So let me see here. Oh, like you'll, you'll be looking at me backwards. I gotta figure out how to flip this thing. But anyways, I'm I'm running across the street and let's see. I should I should be able to like turn maybe this way. Can you see the pool with the cover here? Oh yeah, that's a really nice. Yeah. So here's the uh, Oregon Motor Motel pool. It's a, made by Cascade Pools, and it's got a kidney shape. Shallow in oh, step, their shit. logo is like tile. There's no emblem to steal or anything like that. So um, anyways, they uh, here's the motel. They're remodeling it, and then they're turning it into a homeless shelter. Grand opening March 24th. So we wanted to try to talk to them and then be like, hey, you know, maybe we can get this pool going, open for skateboarding. it pay for itself in tourism, and then I'll tell you the sort of history behind it. So... Me and my buddies, Ryan Deuce and Jim Sprouse, we skated this in 88. And then my buddy, Ryan Deuce, he, he was a good vert skater. He skated goofy foot and he could he went to like Del Mar and shit. And so, let me see, he did a, his first run, like second run, he did a backside double truck grind in the deep end over here. Sorry, my camera angle it just is all off on this. I'm trying to learn how to film this, but anyways, and then he got pitched. And then um, anyways, He's like, I'm going to leave you guys. And then me and Jim stuck around and we got busted by the owners. And then we were like, hey, other people have ridden this pool. So they let us go and this and that. And then two years later in 1990, the first Dallas skateboard camp with Danny Sargent as the pro guy. Mark Scott, Red, the guy that made Burnside, who was his homie. And he, he was there. And then he got busted riding this pool in 1990. And then he had to clean it. And he told me that he's like, yeah, I tried to get, I couldn't get the wheel marks off, you know, but they, they, he didn't have hydrochloric acid. That's what you need to do that. But like, I didn't know that at that time. I learned that when I was older working for swimming pool companies, but yeah. So we're trying to get this uh, swimming pool going here, you know, right behind the historic welcome to the Dallas sign, epic location, you know, it pay for itself in tourism. All they'd need to do is essentially unlock the gate and let us drain this out and put a trash can in or whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe like since they're having the motel here, you know, build a retaining wall or something. But anyways, if you really want to get involved, the Dow's action, um, they're on 4th Street and the Dow's look them up online, call them up and just bombard their like phone lines and be like, hey, what are you guys doing with this pool? Turn it into a skate park. And then my buddy works for the city of Mosier. We're trying to set up a meeting with them because they don't want to deal with me. But like my other friends, Kim, she works for the Gorge newspaper. My buddy Dean, like pro BMX guy lives in Vancouver. He's got a bowl in his yard. Like we went and talked to him and I'll let them do all the talking because they, like I said, they don't want to listen to me. So basically, like, if anyone wants to pitch in and try to get this going, yeah, let's do it. You know, like somebody showed up, like, red car here, like, they're backing into the place. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So that's about all I can really tell you. But, you know what I'm saying? If we could somehow get this killer kidney pool opened up to a skate park, it'd be awesome. The only other parks I know of that, like, use swimming pools are, like, Astoria, Oregon and clarkston uh washington they had a community pool and grind line put like a quarter pipe in and shit but yeah open this shit up what's up this guy's kicking me out what huh what do what oh this guy's kicking me out so i gotta leave the pool property oh, shit yeah don't ruffle any feathers man <laughs> So, Just tell them you're, you heard it's going to be a homeless shelter and you're trying to get your spot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm walking out of the pool now, so he, he, like they're doing some construction work over there or whatever. I don't know. So they booted me out. So anyway, yeah, I'm walking by across the street back to the automobile. But I think that's about the general gist of it. All I can really tell you, or it, you know, if anyone wants to get involved, call the Dallas Action. Uh, look them up online on east forestry and dallas just bombard their phone line say this turn this swimming pool into a skate park it'll pay for itself in tourism but i get all the legal technicalities and this and that but if everyone can come together we can make it work you know what i mean damn dude sounds insane sounds insane yeah the dallas oregon yeah if we can get this pool going it'd be like basically the new fresno people would be flocking here it'd be like after burnside it'd be like the one spot people would want to come to you know people could care less about the rest of the skate park if this shit was here you know what i'm saying 
But no, sorry for the cussing. I thought you were you know but what? Is there a lot of pools out there besides this? I mean, is this area? I mean, obviously, there's like one good one right here. I mean, it seems like there would be. I mean, if you're saying that this could be the next Fresno, that means there's a lot of potential. Yeah. The only thing I can tell you is like the motel got bought out a few months ago, and that pool has had a cover on it for like the last 15 years. So, wow. So, um, when they originally built the. Uh, a Dallas skate park, like wooden ramps, skate like stuff, like 20 years ago. Dave Duncan and his crew built all the ramps. And, like, well, one thing I can tell you is, like, one of Dave Duncan's minions jumped in the pool and went over the light, supposedly. I moved out of town. I wasn't around for that, but my friend was telling me, he said he went check out the wheel mark back. He <laughs> jumped in there, but it's like fresh. Holy paper. smoke. Whatever. That's really bad. As far as like, I can tell, that was like probably like Dave Duncan's guy was like probably the last person to ride at the pool maybe like 20 years ago. Wow. Well, you know, it's worth a shot. I mean, the pool looks amazing. I mean, I could, I for some reason thought it was square because of the the shape of the co pool cover, but I could see the the coping outline and the hip and the, you know, it looks like wow, it looks better than I thought. I mean, you know, it sounds like we might have to tackle it from the historical preservation angle. Looks like we lost John. It looked like our uh, our cell signal was getting kind of weak. And, you know, I could tell by the audio was getting kind of choppy. But basically what's going on is this property is getting converted into a homeless shelter in about three weeks, three or four weeks. And it's got a highly skatable pool that has a history that goes back to the 80s. and we're trying to save that as a historical preservation for skateboarding because to have something like that built nowadays would probably cost, you know, 10 times the cost it was to make it initially. And it's already sitting there. So it's basically like a recreation center already made free, just ready to monetize and used by the community so if the people in charge see the potential in that and you know realize that could actually help their bottom line and help generate some income while they're you know helping people who are experiencing homelessness wow it could be a win-win for the whole multiple communities so let's cross our fingers and hope for the best and I'll be sharing this video with my audience and see if there's anyone in the Oregon area or anyone throughout the United States or even beyond that that is interested in coming down and checking this out. Feel free to reach out if you need me to connect you with people or resources in that area. Outside of that, this is Toby Berger signing off and I appreciate your time and thanks for watching. And if you have any skateboarding preservation situations let me know that you need some help on other than that i will talk to you soon thank you very much